But yeah, so today I'm gonna be doing a little back workout. I wanted to show you guys basically how I train uh, with scoliosis because it's not like a severe scoliosis or anything like that. It's pretty mild, but there is certain exercises that I pretty much like can't do unless I want my back to flare up really bad. So for example, I can't do a lot of stuff for my lower back. So yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna get strapped up with a microphone and I'm gonna walk you guys through uh, my back workout tonight, basically how I train for deadlifts um, because a lot of the workouts that I do for my back workouts uh, just support my heavy deadlift. So I'm going to walk you guys through that, um, show you guys the process of you know the different exercises I do for my back. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And then when I get home, I'm gonna be talking to you guys um, pretty much about the MK and testosterone deal because I've been on MK for uh, quite a while um, in the past. So I, w I have a good amount of knowledge um, as to what it does for my body um, and what it does for most people's body. So I think that I can do a little comparison for you guys, the differences between MK and uh, testosterone because I've, I've been on TRT for the past month. So I know the differences uh, pretty well. So I'm gonna show you guys that um, here in a little bit. So we're at the Nixa gym right now. Um, I'm gonna run you guys through a little back workout. There's a lot of different things that I have to uh, walk around. Um, in terms of my lower back, it's really, really bad. So there's some exercises that I literally just can't do. So I'm gonna get mic'd up. I'm gonna show you guys basically uh, some of the exercises I avoid and walk you guys through the stuff that I do um, for you know deadlift training and for my accessories, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then once I get home, I'm gonna show you guys basically the differences that I found uh, between MK677 and testosterone. Cause like you guys know, um, if you've seen my recent videos, I've been on testosterone for the past month um, and it's a very low dose, it's literally TRT. There's a lot of similarities, so I wanted to basically sit down and talk with you guys about it, because I've gotten a lot of questions about that um, in in general, so I'd love to do that. But yeah, we're gonna go inside um, and get this back workout going. They play really edgy music. Like, it's they like normally this play Tupac or something. Springfield, they play like rap. That's all they play. That's what they normally play here, last time I was yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, but they also play like just screamo stuff, and you can't even listen to your own thoughts. You have to bring AirPods for sure. For the start, we're gonna be doing some heavy dumbbell um, rows, and I really love that exercise because it doesn't really mess with my lower back that much. It's kind of for the lower, it's kind of for the upper back, the traps, um, the lower lats, stuff like that. So we're gonna probably work up to anywhere from like 120 to 130. It kind of just depends on how strong I am today. So one thing I've noticed with testosterone is, for sure, it makes me really full. And when you're full, it makes you really strong as well. So weight that you used to mess with when you're kind of like natural becomes a lot easier because you're fuller. Like your muscles just stay full 24-7. That is damn heavy, bro. I felt like my arm was gonna fall off. For real. go any heavier than that bro that was actually really heavy and you'd be surprised like most people would think that would hurt your lower back but for some reason it just doesn't hurt mine uh, which is a good thing the reason I'm also able to go kind of heavy at the beginning of the workout is because TRT is just making me really cold so you hold a lot more water and I just feel more energetic honestly I'm able to push more weight so it's not a bad thing All right, boys, so we're gonna do a lat-only exercise today. Every single one of these exercises pretty much have been lats. I actually like having big lats because it makes my physique look a lot better when you have like a wider waist. So like, just a tip for the boys, if you have a blocky waist, having bigger lats really overcomes that. back to the house and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a sit down and just explain to you guys why I think MK is not like safe for you and not only is it sort of a SARM it's not really considered a SARM 
but there's a lot of people that think it's a SARM only because you can take it orally and it's not something that you have to inject, right? So people just think it's a SARM, but it's not really classified as a SARM, but I might use that as the thumbnail and the title of this video just for clickbait. So sorry about that. But anyway, we're going to kind of just discuss the differences between MK and testosterone because there's a lot of similarities and there's a lot of differences as well. And there's a lot of things that I noticed literally like right away that I definitely want to discuss with you guys. So if my viewership is 99% men, why wouldn't, why wouldn't they not want to see a beautiful woman inside of the video? That's literally how YouTube works. There's a female in the vid, audience retention, straight to the roof. And then I got Tyson some brow um, filler because he likes Don't show to them fill that. in his brow. Don't show them that. I do my eyebrows, okay? And if you're a dude and honestly, if you like the way you look bro and you want to like look better, Start doing your eyebrows, okay? Because it makes a big difference. Like, just put in some, you know, stuff in your eyebrows, mesh it around, and then use the... I don't even know, because it's a girl thing. Use this. What is this, bro? It's for you, one's for me. It's gel for your eyebrows, so it keeps them in place, B. Say bye to the camera. Run up the next clip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, so as you guys know, I've been on testosterone for a full month now. I've been on TRT. There's a lot of differences and similarities between the three cycles of MK677 I did and the testosterone that I'm doing now. So first off, if you guys have not seen my videos in the past, um, I talk a lot about MK677 and how I used it. I used it mostly during my bulk um, when I was around 200 something pounds. I'd use it for heavy deadlifts and I would almost use it as like a pre-workout. I took it every day, maybe like an hour uh, before my deadlift sessions. So the differences I saw right away when I was on MK was I gained a lot of weight. And when I say weight, I mean water weight. And that's what MK677 does. It like allows a lot of water retention. So you hold a lot of water. Like you'll, you'll probably look like a water buffalo for the first like month or two that you're on it. So you can expect a lot of water retention when you're on it. Now I took it three different times. Um, each time that I took it was a little bit different. The first time was most prominent in the water weight gain. And as I kept cycling it, the water retention wasn't as prominent. So basically, some of the similarities that I'm going to go through between testosterone and MK is they both make you very full. MK and testosterone, it makes you hold a lot more water. I would argue that MK actually made me a lot more water than testosterone. Uh, but one thing that I did see that was very, very similar um, is right when I started taking it, maybe the first week or two, I gained a bunch of weight. I've gained 10 pounds since I've been on testosterone. It's only been around a month and that was around the same as when I was on MK. Another similarity that I can really vouch for um, is it made me really strong. Testosterone made me fuller and stronger and same did MK. Now, if you guys are wondering what MK looks like, I'm not gonna really show the name of the bottle, but it looks something like this. I'm just gonna show it real quick just in case YouTube doesn't allow it. Most MK bottles have a little pipette in it and you can just like, dip the oil in it. You can just extract the oil and then what I did is I just put it in water. I put it in about this much of water and then I kind of just chugged it, closed my nose and then drank something like pretty acidic afterwards so there was no aftertaste. Now some of the differences I would say is MK uh, made me very hungry. Um, it made me very hungry especially after my workouts. It basically antagonizes your ghrelin receptors which is what tells you if you're hungry or not. Especially after my workout when I was already hungry in the first place. I got like almost angry hungry. I never really felt that in my life and I felt that on MK, but I never necessarily felt that on testosterone and maybe it will kick in a little bit later, but I haven't felt that yet. Another thing that MK did that testosterone did not was I had a lot of lucid dreams on MK. Like when I go to sleep, I'd have a very, very vivid dream pretty much every single night. Testosterone doesn't really do that for you. Testosterone basically just whatever qualities that you had before as a male, it kind of just enhances. And another major difference, which is pretty obvious at this point, if you guys do not know, testosterone is injectable. You can take like oral testosterone and then there's like creams and rubs that you can put on, but those aren't obviously as effective. I don't think I'd ever do that. And MK, like I said, it's like an oral, it's like an oral SARM and people like to call it a SARM. It's not necessarily a SARM. So MK is not injectable. Um, you definitely probably can, but most of the time you don't and testosterone is injectable. So that's a big difference. Another major difference, obviously, is that you have to take testosterone for life. So if you start taking testosterone, uh, you have to do TRT for life, which is testosterone replacement therapy. Because once you put synthetic testosterone in your body, um, you can probably go back to your normal levels after a while, uh, but it takes a long time. So I'd always be running TRT for the rest of my life. And I, I completely understood that and I'm fine with that. If it's just a small dose of testosterone, 
um, you know, taking that for the rest of my life isn't really that big of a deal. And that's just my opinion. Most people won't actually feel that way. Most people would think that's like a burden because it's a commitment thing. You have to take it literally for the rest of your life. So in MK, obviously you cycle. You don't just take MK for the rest of your life, bro. You probably, bro would probably die of like liver failure or something if you took MK for the rest of your life. So I definitely do not recommend taking this for the rest of your life. That is not good. But testosterone, you can. You can take TRT for the rest of your life and you will be just fine. I don't plan on running MK really ever again. I don't recommend it to anybody. I don't recommend any SARMs to anybody. It's not good for your liver. It's not good for your heart either. If I ever take it in the future, it'll be like a really low dose and maybe I'll kind of like bundle it with testosterone because I heard that's actually pretty effective. But I don't recommend like taking it over and over again. I just don't think it's good for you, especially if it's, or really any SARM, I don't recommend you taking. It's not good for your liver at all. And yeah, so that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe would be sick. Um, just helps out with the algorithm. I really, really appreciate it. And if you have any questions about either of the substances, both MK and testosterone, just please DM me um, or leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to reply to it because I know a lot of people have questions about those kinds of things and it's a difficult thing to find uh, reliable resources to ask these kinds of questions. So just drop them down below. Hopefully some of the boys can help you out or I'll try my best to reply as well. So with all that being said, I love you guys so much. I'll see y'all in the next one.